To sum up, we've agreed to an armistice with the Empire. From now on, our enemies are the Kingdom and the Church of Seros. The Church is our enemy now? You say it like you're just moving pieces on a chessboard. To be clear, this is not a repudiation of the teachings of Seros themselves. All we're aiming for is the dissolution of the Central Church. That would mean killing Lady Rhea. Is that really the right thing to do? I didn't speak with them very much, but Sedith and Lady Rhea didn't seem like bad people. Those two aren't what they seem to be, if what the Empire says is true, that is. I hate to say it, but it sure sounds like you let the Empire talk you into buying the whole store. Look, the Empire is obviously trying to use this as a means to their own end. But do you honestly think I'd agree to a deal that sets them up better than us? I'm using them right back. The balance of power in Fodrin has already collapsed. If we just sit on the sidelines, our position is only going to get weaker. By cooperating with the Empire, we can expand our influence and power as much as they do, if not more. This is the only way we can end the war quickly while maintaining Lester's independence. And for that purpose, you would throw Fargus to the wolves, despite holding no animosity towards them? You and I may not hold any grudges, but if you look to our history, you'll see it was the kingdom who tossed us to the wolves first. When our people were fighting for independence from the Empire, Fargus attacked and conquered Lester for themselves. And even after we finally won our freedom in the Crescent Moon War, they've continued to meddle in our affairs, like causing that rift in House Daphnel. Hmm, yes, well... Besides, they're harboring the Central Church, and I can't condone that. I've always been skeptical of that dogma they preach. It's just a way for them to force their own belief system onto everyone else. Their creed legitimizes Fodlin's system of nobility, which values crests above all else and leaves no room for people of different backgrounds or faiths. And if what the Empire says is true, then I couldn't even begin to count the number of crimes the Central Church has committed. Claude, are you saying that you intend to destroy our current system of nobility? Because that... I have news. A battle has broken out in ALL between Imperial troops and the Knights of Saros. The Imperial Army has already stationed troops as far north as ALL? That's a little too close to Daphnal territory for my liking. It seems Catherine is commanding the Knights. The Imperial troops are in for a serious fight. Catherine was definitely the strongest out of all the Knights of Saros. What shall we do, Your Majesty? If we're to honor the pact we just signed, we should go and reinforce the Imperial troops. Yeah, you're right. Not so fast. We have not finished our conversation. Just what exactly are your intentions for Fodlin, Claude? Honestly, I want to break this place wide open and tear down every last one of its insular customs. If we can't do that, then there's no real path forward. Now is the time to steal ourselves and take action. Are you sure? How exactly are you planning to explain all that to the people in the Federation who adhere to the Church's teachings? Oh, I already have something in mind. In fact, I'll need your help to see it through. Well, you'll have it. I just hope whatever you've got up your sleeve is actually a good idea. It is. Judith, Lawrence, I need you to trust me and follow my lead for now, okay? Now, let's go wipe out those knights near Daphnil territory. Everyone, prepare to move out. You good with this, Shamir? I told you before, I'm not part of the Knights of Saros anymore. But we're gonna be fighting Catherine this time. Didn't you two used to be real close? We were partners back then, but that's all in the past. Now we walk our own paths. I won't hesitate to do what must be done. Not even a hint of doubt. She really is something.